I think it's time to unbox another laser. It's nicely packed in here. We got our air pump. And our laser. This is, like I said, the Laser Master 3. Got all of our paperwork. All of our parts. And more parts. Let's put this thing together. All right, to start putting this together, we gotta get this part. And if you look right here on the edge, there is gonna be a little track in there for you to slide this wire through. We're gonna slide this all the way through. Can be a little tricky when it gets that other end. And then we're gonna take the Allen bolt. Flip this over. It is a little chore trying to get this to line up just right. It did take me a minute to get lined up just right. It is a little tight off in there. We'll come to the other side. Move this so I don't throw it on the floor. And do the exact same thing. But we don't have a wire on this side, so. Now for our next part, we're gonna take this and guide it right onto the into the grooves of this. And then we're gonna come over and attach all this. Now that plug we ran through the rail earlier, Dutch is attached down here, so be sure to plug that in. Before you get it all screwed down. Now attaching this other side can be a little tricky. Lining everything up. But if you just be patient with it, have no problem at all. So the next thing we gotta do, we gotta attach these right here to these points over here. And so we'll just... Next thing we have is to install our timing belts. Slide that in there, catch in there. Same to this side. Now we come through and actually tighten up these a little bit. I'm not gonna fully tighten them yet till I figure out what I actually need my tension to be set at. Now down at the end down here, 
we actually have these little set screws we actually need to set in there. Like I said, we aren't setting this right now. We're just getting everything set up. So whenever it is time to get the correct tension, all of our work is done to make it easier on ourselves. And be careful because you can drop that in there real easy. Now, when we are setting our tension on here, there is actually something we need to pay attention to feel focus. We gotta get that where that's line up center with that. So that way we do have a reference so we're not just shooting blind trying to figure out the tension of this. They do have markings on here that will help us out. Now with us having all of our cables ran, Next is to connect up the air pump. So I'll just go to there and to there. So that's fairly simple and easy. We'll get that connected up. Now, just a little ways off of our air line, I do have this air valve. I'm actually gonna cut this, place in between here. This way we can regulate our flow of the air. So sometimes we don't always need as much air going through as others so you the more air generally the more cutting you're going to do where if you're doing some light engraving you don't want a lot of air you just want just enough air just to blow what little dust away Make sure you get that in there good and tight where it does not pull out. Okay, we have this laser all set up right now. I do have everything plugged in. Now, after realizing it, I didn't actually need to add this valve due to the fact that this comes with the flow control. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off using their program for once. Normally I always use Lightburn, but I wanted to try something different. Now we'll connect our laser. It appears I'm the lucky owner of a Ulterior Laser Master 3. I'm not going to connect to Wi-Fi right now because the Wi-Fi is not that good out here in the shop. So we cancel. File. We're going to open a file. We're going to use an image they provided. We'll hit next. And as far as the settings we're using, we're using the same thing they have in here. Now all we gotta do is hit frame and then start. As it is framing out our image, right now it has a laser, I believe it's 3% power. And with knowing it where everything's at, we'll come over here. Hit start. Now, as you see, waste no time getting into it. It's a whole lot faster than when it was just tracing it out. Well, let's do this thing and see how everything turns out.
right out the box no modification to it it's gonna be nice okay so this next project i'm back in light burn because i couldn't figure out exactly how i needed to do this in another program due to the fact i just haven't had a lot of time to learn on here i've used light burn for a long time and i know what i'm doing on there so we're going to do some engraving and cutting We'll frame this out. And hit start. So I did end up restarting this. I didn't like the way some of the settings were looking on there. So I did turn it up just a little bit hotter as far as that laser goes. But we'll watch it do its own thing now. So we got our second little test we did. Quarter inch plywood. You see, it cut that out pretty much with no ease. One pass on there, I didn't have to go around it two or three times. It's one pass at 100% power and I got no complaints with that. Let's run a few more tests. So with this laser, it did come with a supply box. So I'm gonna try my hand out as making a picture for this frame. Now I got two different ones, so I'm gonna do two different pictures and see how everything comes out. First one I have on here is for my Texas BBQ gear. So we got this set in here. Frame it out. And we hit start. Now with this frame, I could actually even come back and engrave on the frame itself. And I, I might end up going to come back and do that. I'm not sure yet, but there's another project done. So we're back once again in the program that comes with the Laser Cutter 3. Got my wood all laid out. Let's see how this goes.
and there we have it there's a lot of little detail off in that image even with the wood grain in there still came out great looking both of these next time i probably would go on a little higher power rating on this but i'm not complaining one bit now the next thing i'm trying is these small little metal business cards that came with Got it all in there. Frame it out. It's hit start. There you have it, a metal business card. Now I could have went through, did a lot more detailed work on this. It's just me playing around with one of the files I already have on hand. But that didn't take no time at all. And came out great looking. Now for this next one, we're gonna do some dog tags. This is a little harder to line up because I can't really see it too well. But I think I have it framed out pretty close. Now, if I was constantly running these, I would make a jig for this. But with just this being a one-off, I'm not gonna waste the time on that right now. Now, I do need to up my power on that, but that actually looks pretty cool in that grayscale on there. And I might have to make a handful of these up to sell at my band's next show. So, let's make some more stuff. Now, this Laser Master 3, it has done a great job at everything I have thrown at it, whether it's doing some cutting and engraving engraving on metal or doing pictures now with this laser master 3 i was sent this to test it out they did not pay me for my review or anything like that they did send this unit to me so i didn't pay for the unit itself but overall this is a great entry level to get into laser engraving it can do just about anything you're wanting to do besides cut metal uh, now once you start in the cut metal that's a whole different ball game but there are certain things you can do to achieve the same look which this unit can do where this like here 
that's a brushed aluminum acrylic. So it has an acrylic, a brushed aluminum overlay on acrylic, which this can cut co uh, colored acrylic. Not clear, but it can do the colored. And this little unit right here, it is fast and has a powerful laser on there as well. I'm probably gonna end up integrating this more into my shop as well. And before too much longer, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of these small little lasers in here because heck, they're so easy to use and set up. I mean, once you figure out the program and with this thing, it's all on Wi-Fi as well. So I can just pull out my phone, use their app and bam, send it right to there. Makes it so easy. Thanks for watching this video. I hope y'all like it. Hope y'all enjoy my review of the LaserMaster 3. Like I said, it's a great unit. If you can, be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Till next time, y'all take it easy.